hollow we see a mechanism that contains a flywheel a pin a driving dog an output pinion and an output gear the input is given to the flywheel that is with a constant uh, that is this is the motor connection with a constant velocity the pin is fixed to the flywheel the dog is free to rotate about the pin axis and the dog is also forming a higher pair that is with a sliding pair between uh, the green surface and the red surface that is the output pinion the output pinion and the output gear is with a gear connection you see this for gear connection motion. analysis as to how they are going the ratio between the pinion and the output gear is 1 is to 2 as the flywheel is rotating the green the dog is sliding along the red surface as you see that and then there is a sudden reversal at this point let us see that reversal also there you see the reversal as you see here you will see two arrows one yellow and the other red the yellow arrow represents the velocity and then the red arrow here that represents the acceleration as you see the acceleration is reversing that is the direction of the acceleration is reversing from here left right to left to left to right the direction of the motion let me reduce the speed as you see it is clockwise from here and the output gear is rotating anti-clockwise you can see the dog sliding from inside the slot there it goes so that's the mechanism here we view the different graphs generated by the motion on the x-axis we have the output position from 0 to 360 degrees and on the y-axis we have the measure measure can be measure will be the output acceleration in degrees per second square with the proper units applied and output velocity will be degrees per second with the proper units applied the blue is the output velocity and then the green is the output acceleration this is the graph is plotted with respect to velocity with respect to the acceleration output velocity with, an, with respect to the output acceleration for one rotation of the output gear In the second slide the second output analysis output we see the input position in degrees input position that is you should remember that we have one is to two ratio so the output input is up to 720 that is two rotations of the flywheel and we have the output acceleration in degrees per second square that is green green and the output position output position will not make much of a difference here but then the more important thing is the output acceleration as we see here the output acceleration is going from a very large negative value to a very large positive value so the rate of acceleration or the jerk that is coming here the rate of change of acceleration or the jerk that is coming here is very 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 high so this is what is causing the jerk in the motion the third analysis as we see it is plotted with respect to input position in degrees that is we have taken up to 720 degrees of input rotation that is two rotations of the flywheel and the variation in the velocity as we see here the velocity is negative here that is because of the direction of the motion of the gear motion of the gear is opposite to that of the pinion so that is how you get the neg negative as we see here the velocity is suddenly increasing here and then 
again it remains constant for some almost constant for certain period and then again there is an increased peak here this is where the accelerations also occur hence it should be noted that the velocity is not constant i repeat velocity is not constant throughout the motion but it peaks it peaks there are two peaks in one rotation there we see the red arrow for the acceleration and then the yellow arrow for the velocity this is how we explain the mechanism thank you